Hello, uh, today we will talk about how to upload leads in uh, ERP Gold. Uh, first, we have to look into what kind of file formats that ERP Gold takes. Um, you can upload a lead uh, in either CSV format or in Excel format. So, um, for the demo purpose, I have a lead uh, list that I would receive as a a pre-event attendees list uh, that I would like to upload into my um, lead list. So um, he here's the list that I received and uh, uh, we have to uh, few, uh, keep few things in mind that this list is being um, emailed and uh, it was not in a in a format that it was um, really being uploaded right away. Uh, what I did, I cleaned up a little bit. There was some zip codes which were not formatted right and have some dashes or commas in there. So I removed those dashes from the, um, from the listing. And also uh, there were some uh, non-alphabet num uh, uh, characters. Uh, some alphabet characters were, was in the phone uh, numbers that I removed it. Um, this is this is important because the systems only only takes the the integers or the numbers. Uh, then there was some uh, columns that was overlapped, um, just like you know they were like overlapped or there was two columns in between. So I just like you know arranged them uh, a little bit and added a top header line. So we have to make sure that there is a top header line. If there is not a top header line system will consider the first record as a top header line and will not add it into the list. So after making some changes and cleaning up the list, um, you know, we uh, saved it and uh, we'll save that and uh, then we'll go back to the screen. And this is the screen where we have uh, CRM under the CRM. It's import and export um, and we click on the select files. It will open up um, the um, the window and we can select the file so we can select either an Excel sheet or a CSV format file so let's select the CSV format file so it will show the name of the file that we attached so we click on attach and it will bring up the um, the, the sheet here so uh, it will not bring up all that data that uh, is in your sheet over here for the view because uh, there's only four or five of the records for the purpose of uh, mapping those into uh, the fields. So the first one is the client's first name. So we'll, we we can select it uh, with the, uh, we can search that as well. So uh, we're looking at the client's first name. So this is the, or the contact's first name. This is the contact first name. Now this is an empty column. So we have to make sure that we mark it as a skip. Otherwise system will be confused. Uh, the second one is the uh, contact second name, last name. So we'll mark it as last name. This is the title. So it will be contact title is the company name. So this is just a company name simple. And then we'll go alongside over here a little bit, a little bit, a little bit uh, address. So it will be just the street address. This is the city. This is the state or province. This is the zip code. So our postal code, this is the country that we will select the country. It's the email address, the contact email address. So this is the contact email. And again, this is an empty column. So we'll mark it as a skip. And then we have the phone number. So we'll have the phone number as the phone number, the client phone number. Um, that should be client phone. And this is again the empty column. So we'll mark it as skip again. And the last one is the client's another number, which will add into contacts mobile. All right, you can see that this uh, button has been enabled. That means that you know all the requirements have been fulfilled. So if we click on the upload to leads button, it will start uploading, and uh, we can we can see the listings in our in our lead section. It takes few minutes sometimes based on the size of the list. And uh, we can we can check our leads back, and you can uh, see the listings in the in the in the lead section. Thank you very much.